Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a DIY nail polish cap dots, and I would like to thank Lainey Jane for hooking me up with this idea and leading me to a channel that was doing this. Um, it starts off with the little tiny 12 millimeter glass cabochons, and I needed some little glue dots and some double-sided tape. Now, I'm going to show you how I do this and, and how I learned how to do this. I will leave a link for Lizba's nails down below. She's the one that I watched her video doing this and I have taken her idea and I'm running with it because I have a lot of polishes that are stored down in Helmers and they're really hard to find what you want to use because there's not dots on the top. Now Uber Chic and some other companies are selling these cool little caps but to do my collection that was just going to cost way too much. So I'm just sticking these little cabochons down onto a piece of double-sided tape that's on top of a plastic lid. And I'm going to go in and just start painting the flat surface of them. And uh, I will use two or three coats or whatever it takes to build up the opacity on them. And we're going to let them dry in between coats. And um, I didn't put any base coat down or anything. I'm just straight up, you know... Um, putting the polishes onto the cabochons and it's just this is just I'm, I'm so excited about this first of all I when when Lainey Jane told me about this and gave me a link I was like what I mean because I've wanted to do something like this to my collection forever and a day and this is really cost effective and I will leave a link where I got my glass cabochons I got them from AliExpress I will leave a link down below and you can find the double-sided tape and I found my little glue dots at Walmart but you could also look at places like you know Office Depot or Staples or you know some place like that for them you could also use a hot glue gun or like craft glue to adhere them I just wanted something that was going to be simple easy and quick to use so today I'm swatching my Nicole Diary stamping polishes because those are the ones that are driving me the craziest the fastest um, I have to dig through my, my little container, you know, to find the color I'm looking for. And a lot of times my nails are still a little tacky and I don't want to mess my nails up. So I really wanted to do these first. I have tried these on different bottles, bottle shapes, you know, like L'Oreal, Sinful Colors, China Glaze, a lot of my Indies. Um, and it seems to work on almost everything. Now, originally I had seen some of the big clear glass cabochons that were kind of, there weren't really circles though. And I found, I saw those at Walmart, but those are too big for a lot of the bottles. They would work fine for the stamping bottles, uh, stamping polish bottles, but they were just too big. I figured going with these 12 millimeter ones that they would fit almost all of my bottles. They also do fit just barely my teeny tiny MDU stamping polishes. So, you know, um, I think that, I don't know what other sizes they came in. I know it was a bunch of sizes. I ordered, I think, 2,000 of them just to get started because I'm really not 100% sure how many polishes I own. Um, but while I'm doing this, going through all of these um, swatches and, you know, topping all of my bottles with these little dots, um, I am updating my Excel spreadsheet with uh, all of the polishes that I own. I abandoned my Excel word sheet like years ago or a year and a half ago. And so we've got a lot of catching up to do. Now here's how you can do it. You can adhere the glue dot onto the top of the lid and then take the cabochon. See how it's on there? And then you can take the cabochon and just plop it down on top of the glue dot. Now the glue dot itself is just a smidge bigger than the the little you know cabochon, but that's okay. You know, eventually it's going to dry up, and you know I don't have to worry about anything. But look how wonderful that is! I'm going to be so excited using them this way. And you can also take the cabochon and stick it onto the glue dot and pull it up, and then adhere it to the top of the bottle. Um, I've done it both ways and I, I don't really have a preference. You can do it either way, whatever feels most comfortable to you. But you're just going to want to mush it down really good. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just how this is going to work. Yeah, I'm so excited. 
I've been dreaming and wanting okay here I'm gonna show you using one of the capuchons where you put it onto the glue dot and then you just peel the whole glue dot along with the capuchon up get that out of the way and then place it on top of the bottle so you could do it either way whatever works for you and I'm <laughs> over the moon with this DIY you know now it's gonna take me forever to do all of mine my whole collection but when I get a, a row or a shelf done out of my Helmer I will you know give you all a peek at that what that looks like so I hope you enjoyed this one I hope you go check out L Lisbeth's nails and see her video for this and you know hopefully this helps someone out there I want to thank you for watching and until next time be good to yourself I'll talk to you soon bye